as I gaze out from my window on a land now white with snow. My thoughts go back to childhood in the distant long ago. A cottage thatched in the great oak shade, the dusty road that's bogward bound, the flickering fire where dreams are made. A cock crow greets the newborn day, the grouse is calling in the bogs. Yon smithy's anvil tolls the bell, a shepherd whistles to his dog. The ploughman and his team, with gulls flying all around, chattering beyond the hedge grows, children schoolward bound. A crossroads dance at sunset, with jigs and reels so gay, and in the meadow by the mill, a corn crake holds sway. But I must stop reminiscing, progress must have its way, and for the old folk of tomorrow, the past will be today. A snowfall in winter creates the same wonderland effect in rural Ireland each year, but this winter scene is different. This is Ockram, County Galway in 1944. Country life was very much different then. With the lack of growth, whatever little grass the farm animals could find had to be supplemented by provisions stored at harvest time. The final stage in saving the hay was to pile it high into a sheepcock around a wooden pole. The pole was to prevent the remains of the sheepcock turning over when the sheep devoured the underneath. Fox hunting was the main outdoor pastime during the winter months. As well as providing enjoyment for horsemen and dog alike, it was also a service to farmers as it helped to control the fox population, which was a serious menace to the farmers at lambing time. Turnips were chopped into manageable proportions for cattle and calves using a hand pulper. Mm -hmm. 